Yeah, this up on a. Can I also download it? Um. So it says that you're from Greece, right? Actually, or Greece. Greece. Yes. Um. Why do you stand with Armenia on this subject? Because Turkey is, is has no history of anything but just killing Greeks and Armenians and and genocide of all different nationalities. So we stand with Armenia. So where are you from and what brings you here today to this protest? Well, I'm from New Jersey, and even though I'm not Armenian, um, as a Catholic, I feel like the Armenians are my, my brothers, and I basically think that there's um, a movement by different, different forces mm -hmm. to basically eliminate Christians from the whole Middle East, that whole part of the world. What is your stance on the subject? And, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I really think that the ultimate goal of the Azeris and really Turkey is to destroy Armenia and the Armenian people. They, they tried it before. Hora Tatarin, Masin Inchken, Inchen Mitgeret, Hor Kudes, Tishnama Ninera Yev, Hayera, Jamo Chen Gurvid, Gor Hima Borghadev. Հանեղա <laughs> Ali Protesting. <laughs> Agar vor Turkian ye vazerinen un uje dar perce vor krave vor arkile vor azerineri ye Turkere iren zenki ye mardagan uje ra hayerun brakozade adiga Amerikain iravunti ye badagan unsunne ay sor hay ikre hay ikre va Amerikasi mek mesane kvarsat mek miasiat sebo as as ne badago as kumpa arevelian shechani chos momen abak vere. Եվ հազարներով ավակվերենք եւ մեր երկրորդ երրորդ նվադակները որ ամերիկայի խաղութը անցաթանա որ իրենց արժեքները եկանքին որ այս ամերիկայի գարաբարության լուրություն եւ լուր մնալու լուր մնալու որ ամերիկացի երևի ասկային եւ ամերիկայի լուրերը անցաթանալու մեր հարցերը չեն հաճախել եւ ադիգա մեր մենք ագուզենք որ մեր ցայնը բարձացնել որ ABC NBC CNN-ը իրենց բարականությունը վերցնեն եւ հայուն արցախին եւ ամերիկային արժեքներու սխալները ճիշտեն what are we doing here? We're trying to get recognition, especially for the press, to cover what is happening in the world. Um, what is the historical context behind behind the Artsakh issue? You know what? It's it's been Armenian for centuries, and to say that it's not and to go by this international law of Stalin is preposterous. And um, sorry, we have to start moving soon. But what do you have any family in Armenia right now? But my partner here, Richard. Hi. 
Um, and anything else, Baba? Do you have any suggestions for questions? Oh, how do you think the pandemic affected the situation? How do you think it's affected well, the situation? Well, I think the pandemic was the guise that they started this under. Who's my side? Yeah, so, I'm just a little more comfortable in English. So I think they did this the last time because we were having a world war. And that's when they started the Armenian Genocide. And you ask any Turkish person and they say, it was a war. Because it was under the guise of a war. So uh, now, it's under a pandemic when the entire world is busy fighting their own nation, national battles of, of a pandemic. That's when they're starting this. Because okay. I was raised in an assimilated Armenian family that told me nothing about the genocide. And um, when I finally discovered it, and went to Artsakh, I realized it was a continuation of the genocide. And I think that people have to have maps of Artsakh. On my side, I have a map. How many maps do you see? No one knows where Artsakh is. They also have to put the, they say Artsakh is ours, but they don't say why. They have to explain that Stalin, under terrorism of Armenians, gave that land to Azerbaijan in 1921. Where are the signs mentioning that? You know, if we're dealing with the media and the press, we have to be media savvy and, and, and explain these missing information. We can't expect ABC and NBC to, to, to tell the truth if we're not clearly putting it out there for everyone to see. They had so many horror stories like the Azeris took a 65-year-old woman and tied one leg to a tree and the other leg to a tank and pulled her apart while she was alive. So of course our goal is to create a safe Armenian homeland, but unfortunately um, because of the lack of truth, the Azeris are always going to believe the lies that this is their land and, and they have bigger numbers and more money and always going to try and attack us. So we always have to live in fear and, and non-safety and, and my health, you know, I have, I got back and I spent 28 years America trying to explain the truth. I spent a lot of time, energy, and money, and we have to fight against this. We have to say, no, we're going to be in solidarity with all other oppressed people of color and indigenous people around the world. I told, um, so you said that you were from an assimilated family. Yes. What was the experience like when you sort of discovered that you were Armenian? Like, how did that uh, feel? Well, it was a total shock. You know, my parents never taught me anything about Armenian language, history, or color, and, and I went to UCLA, and in the library I discovered this, and I went home and asked my mom, how come you never told me about this? Parev, Anunat Inche, you have Inche Hoses, I saw. Anunat Maria, Stagam, or the Hyrniki Samara, Chakatarum, Amena Kitchman, Borkan, Kanek. Sorry, <laughs> 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 <laughs>